Story recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a drama, horror, thriller film called Cadaver. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. A nuclear disaster left the world without food and power, with the remaining survivors losing hope. A young girl named Alice. Hears someone choking from the neighbor's apartment. She picks up a white rabbit doll on the floor as the door creaks open. Her parents, Jacob and Leonora, stop her from entering. Leonora opens the door to find their neighbor hanging in the darkness. That evening, Leonora wakes up, startled. She goes to Alice's bedroom but finds the bed empty. Her mind runs in terror, calling for Alice desperately before she wakes up from the nightmare. Wanting to make sure, Leonora goes to Alice's room. Alice draws her blanket down, shaking in fear. A sound woke her up, and she asks her mother to drive the monsters away. Leonora pretends to banish the monsters, assuring Alice that they are not real. Men start yelling and banging at their door. Leonora sings a lullaby to calm Alice down until the men leave. Later that night, Jacob admits to losing hope, but Leonora reminds him that they must endure for Alice. Before she sleeps, Leonora stares at her poster of Macbeth, where she played the lead role. She hears the audience's cheers as she falls asleep. The next day, Leonora scrapes the bottom of the can for food, but it's not enough for her family. Outside, a vehicle pulls up, and a man announces a show where meals will be served. Hearing this opportunity, Leonora hurries outside. On the streets, Leonora asks the announcer, Arnold, how they have food to spare. He answers that the host is a kind man who wants to entertain people in these harsh times. Desperate, Leonora buys tickets for the show. At home, Jacob thinks the show is too good to be true, but Leonora believes it's an opportunity for Alice to see a show and get a proper meal. With Jacob convinced, the family wears their finest outfits and heads to the hotel. There, Arnold stops them, insisting that the show is not for kids. The owner, Matthias Vinterberg, interrupts them and allows Alice to join the show. Inside, the guests are in awe at the hotel's pristine condition. Lights filled the room and servers wait on them courteously. Each one receives a meal, which they happily eat. After the meal, Leonora and Jacob share stories with another family. Lars, his wife Catherine, and their daughter Suzanne. While they're talking, the room dims, directing their attention to the stage. On the stage, Matthias delivers a piece about how humans need to feel something which separates them from animals. Leonora watches the presentation in awe, remembering her times on stage. Matthias explains that the hotel will stage multiple presentations while the guests are given gold masks to separate them from the actors. The stage darkens, and a spotlight presents a woman named Rockel. Approaching a table, she argues with a man named David, who scolds her for being too busy for her daughter's birthday while she mocks his alcoholism. The scene ends with the actors walking to separate halls, opting for the guests to wear their masks and follow. Along with other guests, Alice and her parents climb up the stairs to follow Rockle, passing by the kitchen, where they're surprised to see meats and vegetables around. As they walk down the hall, they see other performances in different rooms. The family reaches the office where Rockle and Matthias argue, ending with Matthias breaking her heart. Rockle walks out in tears, and the family follows. Leonora assures Alice that it's all an act, seeing the child worried about Rockle. David walks to Rockle, telling her that her room is ready. Rockle leaves, leading the family forward. At the end of the hallway, they've lost sight of Rockle. A door creaks loudly, startling Alice. A woman in a red dress runs in panic, leading Jacob and Leonora to question if it's part of the play. But when they see Alice scared, they assure her that it is. Heading up, Jacob notices that the hotel is empty. Leonora assumes that the guests have followed other actors like what they're doing. When they hear Alice calling for Rockle, they rush upstairs, warning her that it's the wrong floor. There, the hallway is much darker than the others. When they reach Alice, Jacob scolds her for running off. Leonora interrupts them, encouraging Alice to find Rockle's room. Alice walks ahead, counting up the room numbers while her parents discuss. Jacob disagrees in allowing Alice to continue, but given their situation, Leonora wants to let Alice be a kid for a change. When Alice stops counting, they realize that she's gone. They drop their masks, searching the rooms for Alice. They reach a locked room and hear Alice's scream. Jacob forces the door open, but the room inside is empty and quiet. Jacob curses, his suspicions about the hotel are coming true. A frantic voice comes from down the hall. The couple braces themselves, only to see Catherine searching for Lars and Suzanne. Leonora suggests checking Rockle's room as Alice was looking for it before she disappeared. They head to the fourth floor and reach Rockle's room, but it's empty. Jacob notices the bars on the window, worried that it's meant to keep them imprisoned. From the other side of the room, they hear Catherine scream and the sound of heavy doors closing. The two follow the sound, but Catherine is gone. Jacob checks the rest of the room, but Leonora is drawn to a painting of a goat's head on a plate. She stares at the goat's eyes, seeing it blink. She recoils in shock, but Jacob checks the painting and sees nothing wrong. On the carpet, Leonora finds one of Catherine's earrings. Coming down the stairs, Leonora finds a man fleeing. She asks him if he's seen Alice, but he demands they prove that they're guests. 
Since they lost their masks earlier, the man doesn't trust them and leaves. They reach another hallway and follow a thump from a dressing room, where a man, Hans, talks to himself. They plead for his help, but he ignores them. Instead, he rambles on about how he's turning into something he refuses to be, his voice shaking in grief. He sweeps the contents of the table and reveals a razor in hand. Leonora and Jacob back away in fear as Hans tells them to trust no one before taking the razor to his own throat. Jacob pulls Leonora out of the room, telling her to forget what she saw and focus on finding Alice. Rockle finds them and mistakes them for new actors, telling them to head to the ballroom. She passes by the dressing room and tells Hans to stop the act, but he doesn't move. Hoping to find answers, Jacob and Leonora follow Rockle. On their way, they find Alice's doll on the floor, seeing it stained with blood. They enter the room nearby and find mounds of clothes and other items. Lars walks out from the darkness, searching for his family. Upon seeing a bag of fake blood on the floor, Jacob asks for the doll and dips his finger on the bloodstain. He tastes the liquid and notes that it's sweet. With the blood being fake, they conclude that everything they've seen is part of the show. The three head to the upper deck of the ballroom to watch as numerous hooded figures bow before Matthias. He dictates their purpose, telling them to trust him to survive. Lars suggests following the workers wearing aprons and masks, who are transferring items out of the ballroom. The three hide behind walls to watch the workers dispose of the items. Leonora sees a worker open a painting like a door and disappear. Jacob and Lars inspect the painting but see nothing behind it. They reach the kitchen, seeing the workers load items into a dumbwaiter. They crawl across them to get to the other side of the building. In the basement, they see the dumbwaiter open with clothes stuffed inside. At the end of the path, they find an incinerator filled with burning clothes. Panicked and confused, Jacob walks away, believing that the others are dead, that's why they're burning the clothes from the other guests. Leonora refuses to believe this, otherwise, she'd lose hope for their daughter. A waiter comes up from behind Jacob, holding a knife to his neck. It's Hans, revealing that his stunt earlier was also fake. Jacob asks Lars for help, but Lars escapes to find his family. Out of options, Jacob twists Hans' arm to allow Leonora to escape. She runs back to the stairs but is blocked by one of the workers. She climbs into the dumbwaiter, pushing the button and closing it before Hans reaches her. Back in the kitchen, she runs and knocks one of the meats from the hooks. It clatters on the floor as if made of plastic. With the illusion broken, she sees that the fresh vegetables and jars of food in the kitchen are fake, made out of cardboard and plastic. She escapes and heads to the office to hide. When Hans arrives, the room is empty. Inside a cabinet, Leonora watches Hans through the crack between the doors. There, she spots newspaper clippings about a famous director who buys a hotel where his daughter died. Hans reaches for the cabinet door but stops when he's called back to the ballroom. With Hans away, Leonora exits the cabinet. She sees the envelope that Rockle left during the play. Inside is a photo of Matthias and a little girl who looks like Alice. Based on the newspaper clippings she saw earlier, she wonders if it's Matthias' daughter. Leonora heads back to the balcony above the ballroom, seeing the table set. Matthias welcomes recruits to their show, telling them to scatter the audience by creating scenes and characters to lure them. After delivering his instructions to the recruit, he criticizes Rockle's performance as his wife, reminding her that she'd be out in the cold, desolated world without him. Rockle apologizes and promises to be whoever he wants her to be. Another actress waltzes in, complaining that someone moved the trigger, causing her to fall and lose an earring. Leonora pulls Catherine's earring out of her pocket, realizing what could have happened to her. Leonora hides in the darkness while following the actors. She catches a glimpse of Alice crying. Overcome with tears, Leonora squeezes her eyes shut, forcing the images away. The actress who lost an earring demands it from one of the workers, but the actors aren't allowed in the basement. Leonora hears Arnold welcome new guests from outside, terrified that the horrors will happen all over again. She reaches Rockle's room, finding the trigger in the goat painting. She presses the button, and the floor beneath her opens, dropping her into a dim crawl space. Leonora hides as a worker climbs down from above. She checks where the worker came from, seeing a room full of discarded props. On the floor, she finds a golden lock of hair, similar to Alice's. Leonora follows the worker down a narrow pathway. A trapdoor opens, letting her hear the actress from earlier tell a recruit to push guests into the trapdoor if they don't fall instantly. When the trapdoor closes, she moves forward, finding a peephole that looks into one of the hotel's hallways from a painting. Hearing ominous grinding and squealing, she peeks inside and sees bloodied butchers carrying human corpses and chopping up severed limbs. The horror has Leonora backing away until she bumps into a figure in the dark. Lars slams her on the wall to knock her out and drag her to another room. Leonora wakes up, hanging upside down in a storage room full of corpses. Matthias approaches her, commending her for surviving the show the longest. Knowing that she was an actress, Matthias offers her to join his group. Leonora asks if the actors know that they're eating the guests, but Matthias returns by asking what she would do to keep her family alive. Seeing no hope in her, Matthias turns to Lars, offering an upgraded room for his family as a reward for taking care of Leonora. Matthias hangs Alice's red dress on a meat hook, apologizing for taking her away. When Leonora calls him a criminal, he claims that they're survivors, saying that Jacob understood. With Matthias gone, Lars cleans her neck in preparation. Leonora cries and sees Jacob coming in, asking Lars to leave him with his wife. Jacob kneels in front of her, convincing her to join them. 
he reminds her that nothing is left for them outside the hotel, and they can start all over here. But Leonora refuses to join the people who hurt Alice. Jacob asks Lars for the scalpel, wanting to prove his loyalty by doing the deed himself. Leonora begs for her life, but Jacob has decided. He kisses her on the forehead before swinging back to knock out Lars. Jacob hurriedly frees Leonora just before Lars stabs him in the chest. Leonora runs, using the hanging corpses to shield Lars from her. She grabs Alice's dress, but Lars pins her to the wall. Seeing the meat hook behind him, Leonora gathers her strength and pushes Lars, leaving him dangling on the hook. Leonora crawls back to her husband, cradling him on her lap. He mourns for Alice as he struggles to breathe. Leonora cries, seeing the light in his eyes go out. With her husband gone, she inspects Alice's dress, wondering what happened to her. She finds blood on the dress then tastes it. Hope fills her eyes as she confirms that the blood is sweet. Alice could still be alive. She looks at the gold masks on the table and forms an idea. With the play starting, Leonora heads back up the hotel and joins the guest, wearing a mask. She sees the guests getting captured but ignores them, focused on finding her daughter. While her eyes trail inside a room, Hans grabs her and throws her to the wall. He chokes her as a painting opens up. Thinking quickly, Leonora puts her gold mask on Hans. The butcher walks in, mistaking Hans as a guest, and snaps his neck, carrying his body away. In the ballroom, Matthias puts on a show for a small audience when Leonora confronts him. He tries to neutralize the situation, but Leonora threatens to expose him if he doesn't return Alice. When Matthias doesn't comply, she reveals to the guests that they will be butchered and served as food. Seeing the audience's confusion, Matthias laughs, pretending that Leonora is part of the play. Matthias slams the table and tells her that her family would still be alive if she accepted his offer. With nothing left to lose, Leonora realizes what she needs to do. She acts out the scene she plays for Alice to rid of her monsters. The audience become captivated with her performance. Leonora deliberately leaves the ballroom, realizing that the audience would follow suit, curious on how her story continues. Panicked, Matthias orders the actors to stop her. Leonora marches down the hotel with the guests in tow, the actors struggle through the crowd to reach her. She leads them all to the large painting, revealing the secret passage to the crawlspace. She takes the guests and actors into the butchery, revealing the truth. The guests scramble away in fear while the actors are frozen in shock. Matthias tries to control the chaos as Leonora meets him at the ballroom. The actors thought they were only stealing from the guests and are horrified that they'd eaten human flesh. Matthias defends his actions, insisting that it's for their own survival. While Leonora demands her daughter, Rocco walks in and stabs Matthias in the chest with hatred in her eyes. On the brink of death, Matthias finally confesses that he took Alice because she looks like his daughter. But he still refuses to reveal her location. The actors take him away, leaving the grieving Leonora alone. Her cries stop when she hears Alice's voice again. She finds Alice on the grand staircase but thinks her mind is playing tricks again. Leonora begs for it to stop, looking away from the confused girl. Finally, Leonora realizes that it's not her imagination, she finally found her daughter. Leonora cries, hugging her child and admiring her face. Alice asks where her father is, but Leonora answers that it's just the two of them now. When morning comes, the hotel is abandoned, leaving Matthias hanging among the corpses. Leonora and Alice go back to their desolated home. Seeing death everywhere, Leonora shields Alice from the horrors. She looks back at the hotel, pristine and brimming with hope in comparison. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.